Today I'd like to talk to you about early Zia pottery. And I'm talking about material that runs anywhere from about the 1800s until about 1920. Zia Pueblo itself is located about 50 miles north of Albuquerque, and it's kind of between Jemez Pueblo and Santa Ana Pueblo. It's a beautiful area, and they've made great pottery for centuries. Now, we're fortunate to have a few examples of very early Zia pottery. The earliest Part of Zia pottery is called Trios Polychrome, and this is really a pre Zia, what we consider Zia, which would be these type of pots. The Trios Polychrome is this is a great example. This pot could date anywhere from 1820 to 1840. Some of the things that you'll notice about this pot, besides a great patination, in other words, it has this kind of human use, and it does. This thing was used as a water vessel for food for you know, two centuries. You can also see on the rim that there's areas of wear, and the wear is so old that they kind of have come down. It's no, no recent chips or anything. This is from ancient use. For the Trias polychrome, the definition really is that type of body shape, first of all, and you'll see it's kind of a flat body with a kind of a mid-body range. It's not this high range like these where you have a narrow, small, acute base. These are much more fat and squatty. Also, you'll see this spiral design that's throughout the pot here, and this is also a Trios polychrome. This is a little later. This is about an 1870s, maybe even 80s pot. So you see the earliest one, and this is the very end of that period. Also, see, you'll see these nested bird designs. These type of things, along with a design along the top, as you can see on this, which is rain or water, are indicators of Trios polychrome, which are very valuable. It's very, very rare. You don't see these often. The other type of pots you'll see from the Zia Pueblo are things like this, big dough bowls. These were made to be used. They made dough out of them. And something like this is big enough that you could feed two or three families with. A jar like this could range anywhere from 1890s to 1910. Then you have the later designs. This is really what a lot of people would think of when they think of Zia pottery with these bird designs. All these pots have a cream slip and red on the bottom, as well as this kind of band. This pot to the far right, your left, is an earlier example, 1870s to 80s, and it's kind of going from the Trios polychrome to more of the Zia pottery. Again, it has that leaf-shaped design that you see in early Zia Pueblo pottery. One of the things you'd like to, to know is how you can tell this from Akama. I always hear this. How do you tell an Akama pot from Zia? The main way is it's heavy. So if I lifted this up, this would be a heavy pot. Now, obviously, I can't show this on video, but if you feel Akama pots, you'll know that they're light. Zia are heavy. Also, if you were to break one of these pots, you would see that inside it uses a, bals a volcanic balsette uh, type of temper, a black material that's used so when it fires it doesn't pop. And in the Acoma, you don't see this. So Zia Pueblo pottery, wonderful, comes in all sorts of designs and elements. And we have these at Medicine Man Gallery.